This video we're going from iClone to Unreal Engine with animations and getting it into the sequencer. Easy. So we start off in the Real Illusion Hub, installing Unreal Live Link. Come over into Epic. Obviously you've got to search fab.com or if you already got it, we're going to search iClone and we're going to install to the engine. And I've already got it installed to 5.4. Once you come into iClone, we can come up into Plugins, Unreal Live Link. What we want to do is find Character Creator and iClone Auto Setup folder. And that opens up this folder. We open up Unreal Engine. I'm using 5.4. We click that, select all this stuff, right click, copy. Into our Unreal Engine project, let's click on our content, right click, show in Explorer. I'm just going to pop up a folder, right click, and paste. Obviously, it's going to tell you to restart the engine. That's fine. Let's come over into Edit, um, Plugins. And we're going to type in iClone and then we're going to tick both these options and it's going to say restart once we're here if you want to use a live link you can i don't normally do it i will set up on our character creator and make sure that high quality shader is enabled so we've got the best resolution apply back into iClone let's go plugins unreal live link unreal live link this will open up this tab. I want to take this character, so our scene, include the motion, the range, 275 is how long this animation is, so we've kind of scrubbed through it. Nice. Don't want props, don't want camera, don't want lights. And then I'm just going to press transfer file. And so now it's transferred our file. Let's go ahead and select our Stormtrooper, delete. I'm going to add in the root node in here. And because we want to do an animation, we need to add in a sequencer. So let's go right click and we're just going to type in sequence and we're going to add in a level sequence. Sure, whatevs. Click and drag that one into here. With it selected, I can go into open level sequence. Let's now grab our character, add, add actor to sequence, add root node. Lovely. Animation. We're going to click on the plus sign and today's date. Uh, it's the bottom one here, the animation sequence. And now we've got our character walking in there. Now, to parent the character to something else, we need to actually go, we need to, we need to actually select our object, add, add actor sequence, add main ship, because that's what it is. From here, we need to go into our character, plus sign, attach, new binding, sorry, attach, existing binding, main ship. So now, that is a part of the ship. Now our character though is a little bit off. So if we reset, you can see it'll come back to the origin point of that ship. And then from here, the animations will play.